Hey Pisces and welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you are returning. In this reading we will talk about what's going on in your life in general and in love. The people you are going to see in this video are celebrities who share your sun sign. When you watch my videos I want you to know that we all go through the same things no matter how much status we have. I want you to get familiar with your energy and feel yourself with no apologies. My Virgo mind because he's a Leo and his what's your sign? Pisces. He always say, I know how Sagittarius is. Hey. I mean, Pisces are known to be very deep, very emotional. But it's like, you gotta step out that shit. We Leo's. I think, baby, I'm Aquarius. I started this gangster shit. It's an Aquarius and a Scorpio. As of right now, the Sun, Mercury, and Mars are all in Capricorn until the Sun moves on to Aquarius on the 20th. And Venus is still in Sagittarius. I will be explaining how these transits will affect your energy. And that goes for Pisces Sun, Moon, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter placements. Don't forget, astrology is all about timing. This is not tarot. Okay, Pisces, it looks like something you wished for has actually happened. But there's a little bittersweet to go with this. This energy will need you to have good friends around you because there will be a lot of people trying to ruin your reputation. Now, this could also be you. I know you like, what? Yes, you could be ruining your own reputation, Pisces, especially with Venus in your 10th house until the 23rd. So make sure you are keeping that in mind. I know if it feels right, you will do it. But with Saturn in your sign, you should think twice. You will have a lot of social presence, so make sure you use that to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. Make sure you make your point very clear, so then you can keep your respect. Communicate clearly and you will beat out any competition, guarantee. In love, it could be hard for you to open up to somebody and this is because you are in more of a a friendship like a friendly kind of vibe you want to feel safe there could be a difficult time coming up as far as sex and intimacy is concerned it's 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 like a blockage and um you know with blockages with the energy it being what it is you will have to just go with the energy there's nothing you can do about a blockage. When there is a blockage, there is a reason for that blockage. The energy wants you to focus on something else. So to get your mind off of sex and intimacy, if you're having difficulty with it, this energy will be good for just being with your friends. You know, um, your dreams are slowly but surely coming true. There could absolutely be a friends with benefits situation going on too. You know who you really want though, so try not to create additional problems for yourself, Pisces. The person on your mind is thinking about their future together with you. Yes, they can't wait to spend the rest of their life with you. But in order for you to be with this person, you will need to have people around you who support you. And not necessarily who support y'all as a couple, but people who support you. You will need this positive support because probably for the next let's see i would say until after may your person could be in a very negative energy and me and you both know that other people's energy rubs off easily on you so make sure you know that you have a lot of good vibes around you to keep in balance this energy that's if you must be with this person it's always about how you do things and not necessarily what you do. I hope that makes sense, Pisces. You should also be taking yourself more seriously during this time as well. If you are tired of taking all the responsibility for something, stop. And when you do, you will see everybody start to jump in and help. This has been your reading, Pisces. If it resonated, please like and share. For a personal in-depth, please visit our website at blackastrologyatl.com or DM us on IG at Black Astrology. Deuce. Sagittarius thing. And that's good for me because I'm a Sagittarius moon, honey. Yes, I am very into astrology.